Hi there, Cali Spera. Good afternoon. Another amazing day of exploring on beautiful and peaceful Telos Island. So where I ended the uh, video yesterday, the uh, filming of yesterday's adventures, was on that beach over there. Down there is Megalohorio, the local village. Out there is Levadia, the port town where I'm staying. So yesterday evening I drove the motorbike back to Levadia, and then this afternoon drove back up here to check out the Castro, the castle. There it is. It looks absolutely fantastic. Now, the uh, drive from Levadia to here is only about 11-12 minutes. It's like seven kilometers. I mean, you could even potentially walk it if you were in the mood for a walk. But uh, the Google Maps uh, directions did not really make it clear how much of a hike this was going to be. It uh, noted the uh, parking lot down there, and then it is super steep, as you can see. A rough trail. But I'm getting closer. We've got a uh, goat friend, clearly very interested in my vlogging. What is that guy doing? Pointing a camera at himself and talking in a foreign language at that. So uh, the trail continues up here and then I presume we'll get all the way up there. Man, it looks just incredible. Falling apart, but still very significant walls there. So uh, this should be some really, really interesting exploring. All right, let's finish this hike. And so this is the beginning, basically, of the ancient settlement surrounding the castle. This looks like another old church. No frescoes in that one. And the walls, unless they're just uh, terraces. What an absolutely just phenomenal location for a town. And of course, a good one to uh, stay away from the pirates. Views in every direction. Can't wait to see what they look like from the top and the other islands that you'll be able to see. Look at that view. Absolutely unreal. And here we are. Look at that! Absolutely mind-blowing! This island is so incredible. Definitely one of the best in Greece. Plus the fact you got everywhere to yourself. I would say that this uh, hike up to the castle is the best thing to see on the island. Great hike, epic views, and this is just looking absolutely amazing. What a location to live. However, getting up here, getting supplies up here would have been rough. Probably lots of donkeys. All right. Into the castle. Nice. Oh, yeah. Looks like that's the church. Unbelievable. Pardon all my superlatives. Amazing, incredible, mind-blowing, phenomenal, spectacular, out of this world. I mean, this is really like one of those ultimate experiences that should be like the super popular thing. 
and yet nobody else here at the end of June in high season. There we go, look at that view. Little islet off the coast and then, let's see, I guess that's Niseros. Gotta be. And then the uh, Turkish mainland out there, a peninsula, where there is the little town of Dacha, which I visited when I was in Turkey two years ago. Drove out that long, winding, weird-looking peninsula. Another building way over there on that ridge. Very tempting to uh, go for that hike, but uh, I don't want to wear myself out when there's a lot more to see on this island that I didn't see yesterday. Pretty more beaches. I will probably go down there next and also look for a Severda. Get some lunch. Town Hall. And whatever that is. Looks like Mezes Uzo. So food and drinks, I guess. This is Megalohorio, the local village where the uh, island people moved to from Levadia in the winter. So in the uh, summer, during the tourist season, they will stay, live, and work in Levadia, the port town, and then in winter, move up here. Let's uh, cruise through, see what's going on. Not gonna be a lot. So you can see there, ancient fortification wall, ancient settlement. I'm assuming that those are both at the same place, the uh, castle. And then Charcadio Cave, which I went to yesterday, or at least to the museum. And then here you have Ayus Antonios. That is where I'm going next, a beach. Aristos, that is where I ended the video yesterday. Panagia Camariana, I'm not sure what that is. Plaka Beach. A little bit farther away, 4.7 kilometers, and Aios Pantelemonis, that is the monastery, 7 kilometers. 
There is the castle. So Ayos Antonio's beach to the right. It's looking a bit choppy out there, kind of a windy day, so I might not go swimming today. Panagia Camariani, and then Plaka Beach, and the monastery. So let's go this way first, and then I'll come back and take a closer look at Ayos Antonio's. Let's see if this little church is open. Wow. It is definitely little. Not a lot in here. None of the uh, paintings on the walls or anything, but uh, a nice, peaceful, shaded little space here. So there is Plaka Beach, nice looking beach there. And great to see that they're making use of wind and solar energy on this island. The monastery is up around there, other side of the mountain. I think I'm just going to uh, turn it around and uh, head back. It is just kind of too windy of a day for swimming. I'm hungry, want to find a good restaurant. I'm not sure if there is a restaurant at Aios Antonios. I will check that out. Otherwise, I will head back into town. Also, the gas gauge does not work on this motorbike. And I uh, put gas in it yesterday and drove all day yesterday. So I'm kind of feeling like not taking a chance at getting uh, farther out there. So I'm going to turn around, head back, find some food. And then also, there is a big adventure coming next before the day is done. And that is going to be either the hike to the beach that I showed part of the trail in a previous video or more likely another ancient city which involves a hike to get up to that. So uh, let's go find some more awesome adventures on Telos. So this is Aios Antonios, not the best beach. A cute little harbor here and there is a taverna there that I think is open but uh, nobody else there and it is quite windy to sit right there in the wind. A couple of buildings here, a bus stop. So I think that I'm going to head on back to Levadia, the main town. I haven't eaten a meal yet in a restaurant right there in the uh, middle of things. So I will uh, go uh, find a nice restaurant right on the main plaza. Now, I'm hiking to the ancient city of Gera. Ayos Yanis. 
St. John Church. I'm not exactly sure how much of a hike this is going to be and if I will make it before the sun sets, but it looks like a really nice hike. So I can see what looks like some ruins right up there. If that is it, then definitely doable this evening. Especially now that it is evening and cooled down. Nice little beach down there, but uh, a tough one to get to. So kind of a funny thing, when I was uh, waiting for my gyro sandwich, to catch the ferry from Niseros to Tilos here, day before yesterday, and I was talking with the uh, guy who works there and had mentioned that I was going to Tilos, and he said, okay, it's uh, very different. It's a flat island. I'm not sure what he was referring to, if he's been here or confused it with another island or what, but uh, this is definitely not very flat. Not too bad of a hike as far as the hills though, if that is it up there. A nice just kind of steady gradual uphill. Man, these landscapes are just incredible. Something on the top of that uh, mountain there looks like a uh, antenna. And then some buildings. ferry boat out there, heading for the port of Levadia, it looks like. So apparently that is not actually Gera. I just uh, spoke with some folks who had been there previously, but not today, and they said it is further around the corner, so not sure if I'll make it all the way. We shall see, but uh, I guess this is like the suburbs or something. At least we'll see some Ruins here, very fascinating, all these walls, terraces, goats. So just one little building right there it looks like, and then another one on the left. So my phone seems to be confused. It is saying it is a one minute walk away, basically back that way, which I think must be those other buildings that I saw. Meanwhile, the actual red marker is ahead there, and it won't give me the directions going there. But if it is in fact out that way, it's still quite a hike. Ay, 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 what to do, what to do. Sun going down. Boom. Looks like that's it. So that is the Greek word for water, nero. I guess referring to the beach down there. And here it looks like we're coming into the town. Definitely. Look at that. Still has the wooden beams, parts of the ceilings left. I was unable to find 
any specific information about the history of this place, but uh, you kind of get the idea. Probably lived in for uh, several centuries, if not longer. It is now a goat town. One of the many goat towns on the island. Look at that. Must be an oven. Wow. Imagine the hundreds of years of people standing right here making their meals and uh, talking. Everything that goes along with regular daily human life. I guess uh, probably kind of a bedroom. Lots of goat evidence. Fireplace, it looks like, yep, and a chimney, awesome. I am being watched. The spies of the goat town. Look at that cool fireplace. Wow. Not big, but uh, all you need for a small room like this. When did the last resident leave here? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> nice little beach down there. Another journey through history. Another incredible Greek island. Another ferry boat. Off into the Aegean. Towards another island. I will be on one of those tomorrow. 10 in the morning. Going back to Kos. I just booked the uh, boat for tomorrow. Going onwards from here back to Kos. Because from there, there are lots of options to go other places. I am looking at various uh, other islands, one in particular, but uh, I need to find out more specifically the ferry schedule options. A uh, rock ring down there must be a place of, you know, barbecues, something like that, you know, like cooking up goat by the beach. That's a great little beach to uh, come to and probably have to yourself super secluded and quiet and then i can see caves down there hard to tell if those are man-made or natural more uh, terraces and another ring there another ring over there so uh anyways tomorrow leaving telos here and uh heading off into the wild blue sea to another Greek island that will be very interesting, I'm sure. So, lots more coming from Greece. See ya. Kalispera.